these Hello Vows by Lexi Ryan. So I'll start by saying this because everything else is going to be confusing and everything well confusing. I like the book because everything else I'm going to say is going to make it sound like I didn't like the book but I did. Um, so we have Brie. So Brie kind of needs to go into the land of the fairies because um, her sister is kind of stolen by the fairies. I mean they did kind of intend to go there and like try to get the hand uh, of the the prince. Yeah for marriage and stuff um, to try to get a better life because the life they're leading right now is basically they are indebted to their aunt. Yeah their aunt and their cousins are basically using them as slaves so great family dynamic yeah yeah so they intended to go but then uh, her sister's kind of stolen and then she goes there herself Brie that is and and here is where it gets a bit murky because I can't explain like they're in different places <laughs> in different courts um I don't know if it wasn't explained well enough like the divided dividedness the I, the, the divides by the I don't know um but she's in one court and this king is like he's the fake king or something I don't know and he's like you have to steal three things blah 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 um from this other court because this other court has apparently uh cursed that court uh and to break that curse they need these things and blah 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 um so basically so Brie has been moonlighting as a thief um in the i guess human realm <laughs> so she kind of has that ideal set skills um to go steal things so she does she goes over to the other court and uh, at the same time there's like this third party that's kind of like training her but they want the things too um but in that court where she's kind of I guess courting the prince who she happens to have known before anyway there's a lot of things like happening and they're like finding out so um Brie and her sister they were kind of left with their uncle because their mum um fell in love with the fairy and left them that's basically how how the book starts how the story of them starts and i'm having the most difficult time trying to explain what this book is about it's basically family issues yeah and getting tricked by fairies and stuff i really liked it i did really like it i can't explain anything of the book um i did feel like some points here and there were a bit like really does this actually work in this story um does it actually make any sense and now you're just doing the same thing twice but you're making it look like it's different things that kind of thing but i had i still had a good time so i'm curious to see what's going to be in book two because i felt like this one ended like on a good note like it could be a standalone but also what happens next so i guess that's book two so um we'll see we'll see in a bit well you'll see in a bit i'll see you probably in a couple of weeks i'm not gonna lie these vlogs are very weirdly formatted and filmed i don't know what i'm doing right now but there we go so see you in a bit so book one although confusing at times because i definitely could not keep track of the courts or like who was actually the good guy this one is kind of the same there's still that court talk and you get the okay can we trust these people well most likely not but also yes there's a lot of this in this book so basically from book one Brie has I guess run away um is the easiest uh, explanation for it and now she's in a position where it's like who can I trust can I trust this person or that person do I love that person or do I love this person it's a very it's a it's a mixed situation kind of a deal and we get other things happening but as far as excitement goes book one was a lot better 
in book two, we just have that one bad guy, really. Just the one tiny thing. And not to spoil things, but the way that bad guy kind of just disappears. There's no epic battle or anything like that. It's just like, poof, you're gone. So as far as the sequel, low. Um, although entertained, it was fine for what it is and what it was, but following book one, it felt like maybe, maybe they should have maybe done a combination of book one and two and made it a standalone. I don't know, because I kind of want a better explanation going on in book one, but also it was more, not intense, but more intense than this one. This one is just like, we're off on a journey, we're doing a lot of walking, we're pretending we're marrying each other, we're not actually, you're marrying that person, no, we're not, we're marrying each other now, and now we're descendants from people. Uh, mm, yeah, it was kind of weak, it was a kind of weak, duality ending for book one. Maybe, maybe I would just recommend read book one as a standalone and have that be it but also if you like me and too curious for your own good yes it's a very i mean it's a chunky book but <laughs> giant enormous font so very fast read everything flows so i guess it's fine it's fine yeah but mm. Yeah, I think I would have liked to have the book one and two combined into one standalone. One epic standalone, because I do kind of like the premise of it. It's a fun premise. It's one we've kind of seen before, if we read a lot of books, that is. But also, not one that we can't do over and over again, just make, like, slight changes to it all. I don't know. Yeah. That's my take on it.